Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be taking a look at the Raspberry Pi OS and its latest update. So let's get started. Now, before we begin checking out the Raspberry Pi OS, I am going to be performing this whole thing on the Wii Max 14 inch portable display. And I've tested a couple of portable displays on this channel before, but I got to say, compared to all the other ones that I've tested, this one takes the cake. That's because of the brightness. Now, compared to the other ones that I've tested, you generally get about 200 to 220 nit on them, which is comparable to a laptop brightness display. So if you pair them up to a laptop, it's all right. But when you compare it to a desktop display, it's not bright enough. So it's very hard to use when you're sharing the screens between each other but this one actually goes up to 400 nit which is a very very bright screen it's also an IPS display so you could get 170 degrees of angle without having any distortions and it is a 1080 60 Hertz panel it does have built-in speakers and it is possible to operate this whole guy using one USB-C cable but unfortunately we're on a Raspberry Pi so it doesn't have that feature but touchscreen still works which is pretty good. And you can still use the HDMI display and it does use a mini HDMI and it comes with all the cables that you need to hook it up to a regular HDMI display if you needed to. Now again, WeMax it is also a part of another company called AnySign which makes displays for cameras and stuff like that. So you actually will get a pretty good color accurization and it has a lot of options that you can adjust. It is built in speakers, so it's not great, but it has built in speakers. And since it's 14 inch, it's actually not too heavy. I, I'm a big fan of 14 inch displays because I like the 14 inch laptops compared to my 15.6 or a 13 inch laptop. I would choose the 14 because of the portability. I carry my laptop around everywhere. So I'm so used to using a 14 inch display. So this is just native to me. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, the links will be down in the description below. So for this Raspberry Pi OS update, I don't generally do update videos on the Raspberry Pi OS because they update it frequently and it's not really that crazy, but this is the only time that really they, they've changed a lot on this operating system. And most notably, one thing is the audio, which is they switch from using Elsa audio to Pulse audio. And that's a huge thing because if you guys ever try to use this as a desktop before, having also audio onto the system kind of limits the amount of what you can do because one of the biggest problems with also audio is it only allows one output at a time. So if you're watching a YouTube video and if you want to watch a movie on a VLC player, the VLC player won't have audio until your YouTube video finishes playing. And that's one of the biggest problems with it. Along with everything else, you know, Bluetooth audio or whatever, it's only got one output. So moving over to Pulse Audio allows for multiple outputs at the same time. So I could watch YouTube and VLC and use my Bluetooth. It'll be working all simultaneously and it'll work fine. And that's one of the biggest things that we need on a desktop computer because it doesn't make any sense if I'm trying to watch a YouTube video and you know play some other sound effects and it won't work. So moving over to Pulse Audio fixes all that and it's going to fix a lot of my issues going forward because one of my biggest problems on a few of my projects is because of the audio so next big change that they have done is that their chromium browser is hardware accelerated now which means you can now use zoom or google meet or whatever meeting applications you want to use on the chromium browser that is built into the raspberry pi and as a version i think 84 uh, let's see right here 84 that is now possible so nothing much has changed. If you're using the Raspberry Pi 400 or the Raspberry Pi 4, 1080 videos work perfectly fine. Um, I don't really have an issue with this before and I'm not gonna have an issue with this moving forward, I doubt. But the biggest help, like I was saying, is because of the meeting applications. So if you were to go into, oh, let me stop this, Zoom meetings and you join a meeting, you can actually click that option to have it host through browser or something like that and it'll work now. So I would definitely play around with that and uh, I've tried it on a meeting and it joins, it, it does whatever it needs to and it works perfectly fine so I don't have any issues with that which is great. Now moving on, they added a new option. So if you go into Raspberry Pi configurations, on the bottom you have your power activity light which is on the Pi 400, the power light could be act as uh, activity light or it could be constant. If that's annoying you, you could just leave it at constant. I like it as activity because I know it's going on. Uh, next up in performance, they added the ability to attach a fan. So the latest Raspberry Pi case 
comes with a fan now and you could actually control that fan through GPIO pin 14 or you could change the pin whatever you want and at a desired temperature it'll kick on the fan. This also works on the other stuff that you have. If you have a Pi 52 fan or any other case fans, plug it into that GPIO pin and at a certain te desired temperature it'll kick it on and it's controlled by a, their configuration utility which is pretty cool. You don't have to install your own custom made Python scripts or anything like that so just work. Now another big feature that they added is printer support. So if you go over to print setup, you're actually able to add your printer. So if I go into add, it'll actually pick up my network printer. So if I go into find printer, there you go. I could actually add my brother printer forward, install the drivers and stuff like that and it'll work. So having printer support is pretty great. Uh, it is pretty easy to install from the previous installation so it wasn't like a major change but yeah having it out of the box is pretty good last but not least uh, one of the things that i couldn't test uh, which they did improve on was their orca reader which is their magnifying glass uh, i tried to install it but i couldn't get the application to i don't know where it went i installed it but i don't see where it would install so it didn't work out for me out of the box but i did see some previews on people using it and it does work pretty well especially if you have a screen reader which will actually do speech to text to speech and it'll read it out for you with the new pulse audio you're actually able to hear everything while doing something else so yeah that that is a pretty good feature what i can tell you now is i like the move that they're doing moving it more towards a desktop environment and they're getting more applications to install and work better so you could actually use this more like a desktop and for the past two months i've actually been using this as a desktop if you've seen on basically all my videos this has became my primary desktop i don't even turn this guy on anymore because this could do everything that i need to do which is transfer files uh, browse or show you guys stuff and i could just do a screen recording but yeah that is it as far as the update goes but i do want to ask you guys do you want me to do a full video on a desktop build on a raspberry pi using their raspberry pi os because i know that there's a lot of missing applications that you could install like a software center and stuff like that to actually improve upon the raspberry pi os and to make it like a fully utilizable desktop environment let me know down in the comments below and if you guys have any questions about this update again hit that in the comments down below as well if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave Hack till it hurts.